What's up, guys? This is Mason Sapesky. Welcome back to my week free prediction show. Today is going to be a quick show because I actually have to go to class in about an hour, so I'm going to have an hour to film with you guys. I'm just going to go through the probabilities real quick of each team. Go through, or like I always do, go for the probabilities of each team, do their current projected, then their probabilities. Go for each match up, and I'm just going to pick winners and do the percents today. I don't have the scores with me and are off by heart, so I'm just going to pick the winners. So, yeah, and the percentages. So, yeah, that's it. It's going to be a quick so that's for sure. All right, let's get right to it here with probabilities now. Sell we. AFC East, Buffalo Bills 2-0, 12-5 projected, 88% playoff chance, 48% division chance, 10% conference chance, 6% Super Bowl chance. Miami Dolphins 1-1, 11-6 and projected, 59% playoff chance, 30% division chance, 5% conference chance, 3% Super Bowl chance. New England Patriots, 1-1, 4-14 one one, projected, 8% playoff chance, 7% division chance, 2% conference chance, 1% Super Bowl chance. New York Jets, 1-1, one 7-10 and one, seven and ten projected, 34% playoff chance, 15% division chance, 3% conference chance, 2% Super Bowl chance. AFC North now, Pittsburgh Steelers, thank goodness we're in first place, 2-0, and 9-8 and eight projected, 48% playoff chance, 30% division chance, 7% conference chance, 3% Super Bowl chance. Cleveland Browns, 1-1, one 6-11 and one, six and 11 projected record, 30% playoff chance, 10% division chance, 3% conference chance, 1% Super Bowl chance. Baltimore Ravens, 0-2, 9-8 and eight projected record, 53% playoff chance, 35% division chance, 8% conference chance, 4% Super Bowl chance. Cincinnati Bengals, 0-2 at the moment, 8 and 9 projected, 44% playoff chance, 25% division chance, 4% conference chance, 2% Super Bowl chance. AFC South, Houston Texans, 2 0 at the moment. I project them, there we go, 12 and 5, 95% playoff chance, 80% division chance, 13% conference chance, 7% Super Bowl chance. Jacksonville Jaguars, 0 and 2, 6 and 11 projected record, 30% playoff chance, 12% division chance, 3% conference chance, 1% Super Bowl chance. Tennessee Titans, 0-2 at the moment. I predict you to go 3 and 14. 5% playoff chance, 2% or 3% division chance, 2% conference chance, 1% Super Bowl chance. Indianapolis Colts, 0-2 at the moment. I predict you though to go 5 and 12. 24% playoff chance, 5% division chance, 3% conference chance, 1% division chance, or 1% Super Bowl chance. My bad, I'm sorry. AFC West time now. Chiefs, Kansas City, you're 2 0, 17 0 projected record. Yes, you heard that right. I don't see the Chiefs losing a game this year. I just think the team is too talented. If there's going to be a perfect season in the NFL in the next several years, or even maybe even my lifetime, it's going to be this Kansas City Chiefs team. So I do think they'll have the perfect season as of right now. However, I'll probably look like a lunatic in a couple weeks saying that. 98% playoff chance, 84% division chance, 25% conference chance, 10% Super Bowl chance. Los Angeles Chargers, 2-0 at the moment. I project them though to go 11-6. and 62% playoff chance, 7% division chance, 6% conference chance, 4% Super Bowl chance. Las Vegas Raiders, 1-1 one one at the moment, 9-8 and eight projected record, 54% playoff chance, 6% division chance, 4% conference chance, 3% Super Bowl chance. Denver Broncos, you're 0-2 at the moment, 3-14 three three projected, 5% playoff chance, 3% division chance, 2% conference chance, 1% Super Bowl chance. NFC East, Dallas Cowboys, 1-1 one one at the moment. I project you to go 12-5, 92% playoff chance, 65% division chance, 10% conference chance, 5% Super Bowl chance. Philadelphia Eagles, 1-1 one one at the moment, 9-8 projected record, 53% playoff chance, 20% division chance, 8% conference chance, 3% Super Bowl chance. Washington Commanders, 1-1 one one at the moment. I project you to go 8-9, 45% playoff chance, 12% division chance, 6% conference chance, 2% Super Bowl chance. New York Giants, 0-2. I predict them though to go 6-11. 32% playoff chance, 3% division chance, 2% conference chance, 1% Super Bowl chance. NFC North, Minnesota Vikings, you're 2 and I project you to go 8-9. 45% playoff chance, 10% division chance, 6% conference chance, 2% Super Bowl chance. Detroit Lions, 1-1. One one. I project them to go 9-8. 49% playoff chance, 15% division chance, 7% conference chance, 3% Super Bowl chance. Chicago Bears, 1-1. One one. I predict them to go 
64% playoff chance, 20% division chance, 8% conference chance, 4% Super Bowl chance. Green Bay Packers, 1-1. One one. I project you guys, though, to go 13-4. 82% playoff chance, 55% division chance, 12% conference chance, 7% Super Bowl chance. NFC South, New Orleans Saints. You guys are 2-0. and I project you to go 14-3. and 91% playoff chance, 65% division chance, 13% conference chance, 8% Super Bowl chance. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 2-0. I project you to go 6-11, though. 32% playoff chance, 10% division chance, 2% conference chance, 1% Super Bowl chance. Falcons are 1-1. One one. I predict them to go 8-9. 45% playoff chance, 20% division chance, 4% conference chance, 2% Super Bowl chance. Carolina Panthers, your own 2 I predict you, though, to go 3-14. 5% playoff chance, 5% division chance, 1% conference chance, 1% Super Bowl chance. NFC West. Seattle Seahawks are 2 and I predict them to go 11 and 6. 61% playoff chance, 40% division chance, 8% conference chance, 4% Super Bowl chance. San Francisco 49ers, 1 and 1, I predict them to go 11 and 6. 66% playoff chance, 45% division chance, 9% conference chance, 4% Super Bowl chance. Cardinals of Arizona, I project you to go, or you're 1 and 1, I predict you to go 7 and 10. 36% playoff chance, 12% division chance, 3% conference chance, 2% Super Bowl chance. LA Rams, last but certainly not least, 0 and 2. I predict them to go 4 and 14. 13% 14 playoff chance, 3% division chance, 1% conference chance, 1% Super Bowl chance. Very tough to win without your top two receivers. However, if anyone could do it, it is Sean McVay. So now we're going to go on and predict the games. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to give you guys my score predict, or not my score predictions, I'm sorry. Just my predictions in general of who I think is going to win the game and the percentages. I'm sorry I don't have my score predictions today, but yeah, I'll get those pretty soon. So I'm sorry about that. Last week was a tough week for my predictions, and, and it was for a lot of people. So yeah, but hey, I did get the Packers and the Vikings upset picks, right? So that was good. So yeah, this week's going to be crazy this year. I can't wait. New England and the Jets. I think this will be a good game for sure. New England has not lost a MetLife Stadium in forever, but I think tonight it's going to happen. I think the Jets are going to take this one. Give me New York Jets with a 61% win probability. Patriots 38%. By the way, I don't know if I've said this or if you've noticed, but I only go to 99% because I automatically just build in 1% for ties. So just wanted to let you know that and make you guys aware if you weren't already. New York Giants and the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland's just the better team, unfortunately. The Giants are just garbage. All they have is Malik neighbors, but I'm taking the Browns in this one. Give me Cleveland with a 62% win probability. Giants, 37%. Packers head down to Nashville to take on the Tennessee Titans. This will be a close game. I think this one will come down to the wire. However, I think that Malik Willis is going to be fired up going back home into his old stadium, and he's going to want to prove a point for his team. So I'm taking in the Malik Wills return game. It doesn't end well for most returning quarterbacks, but I'm taking the Packers in this one. Give me Green Bay, 54 ten, with a 54% win probability, Tennessee with a 45% win probability. I just don't think the Titans are it. I think that team's a mess right now, and they're going for what I think is a complete total rebuild, so... It'll be interesting, that's for sure. They've got a long ways to go. For sure. That's the Texans division for now. Yep. Bears and Colts. This will be a fun one. I think this is going to be one of the closest games of the week. This is somewhat of a tough game to predict. However, I think the Colts are just bad. I do. I really do. Like I told you at the beginning of the year, they're going to be a bad football team. And they have proven me... To be right so far. They're a pretty bad football team. I know they're hanging in there with the Packers and they hung in there very well with the Texans. However, this is just a tough schedule and this team's not very good. So, despite Caleb Williams and the offense struggling, which it shouldn't be with all the weapons and the, or I, I'm sorry, I said it say that all the players and the, all the talent they have on the roster on that offensive side of the ball, it should not be like that. So, I'm Going to take Chicago just because the Colts' offense isn't very good and their defense is, and the Bears' defense is amazing. 
So I'm taking Chicago on this one. Give me Chicago with a 50% win probability. Colts 49. Texans and the Vikings. I mean, both these teams are 2-0. Whoever wins this one is going to be in really, really good position at 3-0. I think that this will be close. But it will come down to the wire. However, I just I don't see the Vikings beating top opponents two weeks in a row. I know it's at home, but I kind of felt the Vikings would win last week, but I don't think they're going to win again this week. Give me Houston winning this one with a 60% win probability. Vikings with 39% win prob probability. If the Texans win, though, for them, that'd be huge. I mean, if everyone else in the division, like the Colts, the Titans, will get to the Jaguars here on Monday night because they play the Bills, but if those teams all lose and the Texans win... They're in a great place already to lock up the AFC South sooner rather than later and possibly challenge the Chiefs for the number one seed in the AFC. That's for sure. Eagles and Saints. This is going to be a fun one. I expect a lot of points to be put up between the two teams. Philly just collapsed on Monday Night Football last week like they've done a lot recently. And I think they're going to struggle because of it. I think this team is weak right now. And I just feel like there's a lack of trust and a lack of communication between the head coach and the players, and I just think that there's a lot of problems here. New Orleans has done nothing but impress me. Love Clint Kubiak. Love the scheme that they're running. Very fun, putting up a lot of points, and that's what you want to see from an NFL offense. And I think the Saints are going to light up the scoreboard once again this week. Give me New Orleans with a 55% win probability. Philly with a 44% win probability. I think the Saints will win easy. Broncos at box Buccaneers. This will be a good game. I feel like the Buccaneers will challenge, or the Broncos will challenge the Buccaneers. However, I just, I don't feel like it's going to be enough. I think this Broncos team needs a lot of work right now, especially in the O-line. They do have their franchise quarterback, but... Sean Payton's got a lot of work to do with that team. I'm taking the box 66% win probability, Denver 33%. Next up, we got Vegas hosting the Carolina Panthers. This is the Raiders' home opener. They're coming back home after beating the Ravens last week. It was a fun week last week, and it's going to even be a better home opener. I think Vegas will absolutely destroy Carolina this week, so give me the Raiders in this one. With an 84% win probability, Panthers 15% win probability. How about Bryce Young saying that's insane, crazy. Dolphins head to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. This will be a fun game. I'm kind of looking forward to this one, that's for sure. It'll be close. It'll come down to the wire. But in the end, I expect the Dolphins to find a way. I mean, Skylar Thompson's on Mahomes or even Tua, but they still have too many elite playmakers. Waddle, Tyreek, you name it. But I just think that's going to be too much for Seattle defense still adapting. So... I'm going to take the Dolphins in this one. Give me them with a 56% win probability. Seahawks, 43%. Detroit and Arizona. I think this is going to be a tight game. Detroit didn't look very good last week. I'm sure they're going to come out motivated for sure in the desert. I just don't think they're going to beat the Arizona Cardinals. I really don't. I think this will be a great game. It's going to be an upset game. I'm taking the Cardinals of Arizona in this one. Give me Arizona. With a 50% win probability, Lions 49% win probability. Ravens head to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. I feel like this is a must-win game for both teams. If Baltimore loses this, they pretty much fall out of playoff contention for the season. And barring a miracle comeback, that would be a shame considering how much they spent on money-wise to improve. So I don't... It's going to be close, but in the end, this game's in Dallas. They just were embarrassed last week by New Orleans. I really like the Cowboys to win this game. Give me Dallas with a 52% win probability. Baltimore with a 47% win probability. Niners head down south, Southern California, to take on their in-state rivals, the LA Rams. This game's not even going to be close. I think San Francisco will easily win this game despite the Debo Samuel injury. They still have way more playmakers. The Rams completely lack playmakers right now over than Kieran Williams. They don't have much on the defensive side at all. This team is a complete and total mess. They only got over the top last year because of Puka Nakua. 
and how good he did. Now I don't know where they go. I don't, I don't know what they do. So it's going to be a long, 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 hard year in Los Angeles for the Rams, I think. I'm taking the Niners in this one with a 92% win probability. Rams here at 7%. This will be a fun game for sure on Sunday Night Football. Chiefs head down to Atlanta to take on the Falcons. I'm interested to see how Bijan Robinson does against this Chiefs defense. I can't wait to see him. I think Mahomes is going to absolutely light up the Atlanta secondary. And I think that's going to be a problem for them. I think the secondary is decent, but they're not elite. And they're not ready to prefer a quarterback like Pat Mahomes. So I think that's going to give them a lot of issues. Give me Kansas City in this one with a 67% win probability. Atlanta, 32% win probability. Now on to Monday Night Football we go. Jaguars of Jacksonville head to Buffalo to take on the Bills. I don't think this one's even close. I think Josh Allen and the Bills destroy the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm taking Buffalo in this one easy with a 77% win, percent win probability. Jacksonville, you guys are 22%. Yeah, this ain't going to be close. And then last but certainly not least, we got Washington and Cincinnati. I think that Jane Daniels is good. I like what Washington's done a lot. They've slowly and steadily, but steadily become one of my favorite teams. So, slowly and steadily, I'm sorry. So, it'll definitely be interesting, that's for sure. I'm taking Cincinnati in this one with an 80% win probability. Commanders with a 19% win probability. So, definitely an exciting slate of games this week. First things first, I'm sorry there was no NFL Week 2 recap video. I'm going to try to get that out possibly tomorrow. If not tomorrow, I'll have both Week 2 and Week 3 out next Tuesday. So it's just been a really busy week. Next week looks better. So yeah, I'm just glad we were able to get a video in today. And really, that's all that matters. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed again. Sorry it was so quick. Quicker is better than I feel like. So yeah. In the meantime, have a good one, take care, stay safe, and as always, peace. See you for the recap so next week.